Welcome to Trivia Guitars, I'm Chris. And I'm Matt. Matt and I have come to the conclusion that there are basically two people that tune into our channel regularly. I don't even know if that's us, that's YouTube telling us. YouTube we, get, we get some pretty good analytics and it tells us uh, a lot about you guys. You'd be yeah, amazed. I'm the... looking at you, Jason. <laughs> exactly. there's, there's, yeah, see, there's one Jason out there who's going to be like really scared about that now. I don't remember what I was saying now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> the first type of person that watches this channel typically doesn't subscribe to it, so make sure you do that first. <laughs> Smart, smooth, real smooth. <laughs> nice. The first person is the type of person who watches our channel and has down dabbled in guitar building, has maybe built one guitar, or a kit guitar, or built 30 guitars. The second type of person that watches our channel has probably never uh, built a guitar in their lives. You guys are probably the majority, honestly. Yeah. Guess what? This video is kind of for you, because let's say you've seen some of these videos, maybe you are peripherally interested in guitar making, you're just like, hey, I'm not ready to take the plunge, I'm not ready to go full in yet, I kind of just want to try it out. Well, we have just the thing for you. Cigar box guitar kit. That's right. Coming in at a grand total of basically a hundred dollars. It's hundred and three ninety nine right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. According it's to that, the website. It's always that, it's always that extra penny, <laughs> exactly. you know? Yeah. These little cigar box guitars, A, like we said, they're a hundred dollars. Um, you require almost no tools to put it all together. You could do it in a weekend. It basically comes with everything you need. At the end of the day, we just want as many people as possible building guitars because uh, we love it and we want to share that love with you. And if this helps get you interested in it, then yeah, like yeah. do this. So what we're gonna do, Matt and I are going to Try to build it all on camera here for you guys. Yeah, so with that said too, it's close to the holidays. If you like this thing and you think it might be a good gift for yourself or for somebody you know, um, we will have a link down below. All right, let's crack this thing open. We interrupt this programming to tell you guys a little bit about some of the products that we sell. One of them being this awesome paint handle. For those of you that are maybe respraying a guitar or following along with one of our builds uh, and you're looking, how can I hold my guitar while I spray it? we have the solution. Check these guys out. We have them in a link down below, as well as our fret caddies that we've started selling. And these are awesome for refrets or just general guitar maintenance. You put your loose frets inside of here, your bridge pins here, uh, and any sort of metallic hardware that you have inside of there, just to help keep your workbench organized. So check those out. We do have links down below and we'll ship them today. Jeez. Instructions? Instructions? Just... <laughs> we I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we might actually need this. <laughs> already, it looks like it's already put together. Very nice. I'm gonna do the thing that Luthiers do. Ah, pine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it sounds like the first thing they're asking us to do, and a lot of folks probably at home would skip this step. They're asking us to go ahead and make sure that we hammer these frets uh, and get them perfectly level, and then we're just gonna do a fret level. But Matt and I aren't gonna do it if we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. with that said, we're not going to do it, but we're going to check with the proper tools first, right? Like, yeah. And if you're at home and you decide that you you know, you want to do one of these kits and you don't want to do a fret level, you, you, you're probably going to be able to get away with it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're not doing a fret level, so we can actually skip the whole preparing the neck section. We're going to skip to building the body uh, and starting to put this bad boy together. And I think that this is what needs to happen. This goes like this. <laughs> I'm doing the thing where I don't even like, I just look at the pictures. <laughs> And we'll follow the instructions just for the placing of these screws. Why not, right? Uh, yeah. Which is one and one eighth and nine sixteenths. Oh god! Why the fractions? <laughs> <laughs> Matt knows I hate to, I hate fractions. So I see. Right so here. it's coming in. It's going there. Yeah. And there. Nice. So I see the yeah. Right. Right into his hand. Right into his hand. Yeah, all I want for Christmas is a trip to the ER. You can dry fit. Real men don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, There's no way that comes back to my ear. <laughs> nice and gentle light. This is a really fun little project to do, especially if you've got like little ones who are of an age where they're interested and kind of like into guitars or just interested in making things. Yeah. I know that for me, all it took was kind of the realization of like, oh yeah, I can build a guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it wasn't even on my radar. And then one day, the idea of building was like presented to me as like, oh yeah, I was in my twenties. <laughs> oh wow. The idea that as a kid, you kind of like stumble into this as, as kind of a hobby would be a really useful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, even if this is the only thing you ever do, it's just fun to hang out with your kid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, insert the neck into the body face down, seated against the underside of the top and through the neck pocket. Look at that though, look at that. Yeah, all right, that's that's in there now. We're trying to show you guys how fun and easy this can be. We're kind of doing it the easiest way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
I feel like we're good there. We can turn yeah. the page. Like Bob Seeger. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do fitting the hardware electronics. So here's what's crazy, right? All we gotta do is run our four screws on the back of here. And physically, this entire instrument is now put together at this point. Um, wow. Like that, that happened fast. Yeah, <laughs> structurally, we now have our cigar box guitar basically in place. Everything moving forward now is gonna be tuning machines and pickup install. Oh, <laughs> wait, and wait for it. Look at them fellas. Look at oh, them. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> what does that look like? So three tuning machines. These are open gear tuning machines. You don't have to do this, obviously. But anytime you're running screws into a, uh, that you want to eventually be able to remove, if you have some sort of, we use uh, this chunk of beeswax that we have, you can use a candle. Uh, and everybody's typically got at least one candle in here. I prefer uh, like a nice pine scented one. <laughs> right. uh, but no, you, you're gonna take your screw and just put a little bit of wax on the threads. Um, it, and it can make a huge difference in how much, how A, how easy the screw runs in, but also you won't break screws. Mm -hmm. Could be broken screws, especially cheap screws on a kit like this. It's probably not the highest quality screws in the world. Uh, they can break and then, or, or they can crack and split the wood. So by doing the little bit of beeswax on there, uh, it can absolutely all the difference in all that. Yeah. How are you supposed to tune this thing? I think you can do open tuning, or you can do like the top three strings of the guitar. All right, we now have tuning machines installed. Look good too. Look at Dude, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing that's kind of fun. It's not advertising here, but if you wanted to, this is laser etched. You could like sand that off uh -huh. and put your own little logo up there. <laughs> should should we do that? Should we sand it and put our own? <laughs> should we just put a driftwood deal. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> just the <laughs> There we go. There it is. Boom. All right. <laughs> you ready? Here. We're gonna give you a nice sweep like that. Uh huh. And then like that. <laughs> Optional step. You don't have to do this, but we did. <laughs> so now what? So we're gonna do the nut install now. It's absolutely, I feel that it's completely, absolutely perfect. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. she's calling for glue just on the outside edges here and not over the truss rod. Oh, that makes sense. I too find that uh, <laughs> truss rods work best whenever they're not glued in place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some accelerant on there, and then I'm gonna make sure that I get this thing perfectly lined up. Good. Yeah, we can go ahead and rough install that pot, perfect. but we don't need to, it says not to, um, to, to not wire anything quite yet. Makes sense. Feeling good, looking good. Uh, orient, the P90 is not critical. Orientation is not critical, but for easier wiring, install it so that the side of the wire is closer to the volume pot. <laughs> uh, looks like what we have next is installing the tailpiece. Don't strip these out now. Fitting the sound port rings. And just <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> so now Matt's gonna get the soldering iron out and we will get this thing wired up. There we go. Yeah, you just want to take a piece of metal, something metallic, and touch up against yeah. some of the magnets on the front here, and we're working. Easy peasy, when it's easy. We're gonna go ahead and close up the body now, which we pre-drilled already, so now we can just kind of kind of put it together, right? Where do those screws go? These little dikes here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we now have ourselves a. <laughs> Oh, a body with a bunch of scratches on the surface. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the next step is just going to be your installing of the strings and checking all of your, your string action and all that stuff. As much as this may not be a full guitar, it's only a three-stringed instrument, it's not really a full guitar, uh, by doing a kit like this, as Matt makes all the racket. Doing a kit like what this... What are you saying? <laughs> hang on, Matt, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You're still going to learn some really, really useful skills. Those, those initial uh, fret leveling um, steps that were at the beginning of this that we didn't do, um, and then this part, which is the the stringing up and getting all that dialed up, dialed in and set up, they're all going to be very useful skills for you when you do, hopefully, your second guitar build after this one. The bridge is really cool. It's just this uh, just little block of wood, and then we're going to put, it looks like a quarter 20 uh, <laughs> threaded bolt that's going to go on here. Okay. And then the strings are going to come up through here and then up and over. And that's Perfect. that's kind of the whole shebang there. Yeah. Follow the steps in this book if you don't have the tool that I'm about to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The step to finding the bridge location, super important. Um, bridge location is going, if you don't get it in the right spot, you're going to have crazy intonation issues. Bridge location is determined by scale length. And all that scale length is, is the distance between the nut and the 12th fret times two. What they're calling for in the instructions here is using a straight edge and measuring that distance and marking it and then extending that distance out this way. You don't need this tool. We have this tool. This is a saddle locating uh, tool that we have. So we're going to use it instead. Once again, you don't need it though. So this is just going to make our work a little bit easier. And then we're going to flip it around. All right. So we got that marked. This should all be pretty much dialed in. The, the height of this block too should be set up so that when we run 
the straight edge on here. Our action's actually gonna be pretty high if we were to do that. So what we can do if we want to is I can actually remove the thickness of the material under here, uh, underneath this wooden block so that when we put the strings on it, that the string action's actually usably lower. I have, um, Gone ahead and sanded off some material up here, and now when I set the uh, the bridge and saddle on this cigar box guitar, I'm getting the string height that I want, probably plus just a little bit. I'm actually just kind of using my eyeballs here, nothing absolutely crazy. I did check it, it does look a lot better. It was at like 140 thousandths, um, and now we are at uh, 110. So it's just a little higher than, than I would normally do it, but I feel really good about it. So yeah, we'll have Matt uh, kind of get the ball rolling here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got this thing strung up. We've got the bridge in place. I did actually need to lower it a little bit more. Um, I checked with my, um, I checked with the <laughs> nice <laughs> with the um, the nice a nice tuning a uh, nice tuner to check my intonation and then adjusted this accordingly to get it so that we're in tune in the open position on the twelfth fret. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's cool, man. It was a fun little project, and we ended up. <laughs> really cool it's a really great way like we said in the beginning of this video yep to get into guitar building get your feet wet it's a hundred dollars for this kit we're gonna have links to it down below we'll put links to some of the tools that we have in here reminding you that you don't need most of the tools that we used in here you can get away with not using any specialty tools whatsoever for this build really fun for yourself really fun for you and a child of yours if you have it if you know somebody who's just interested in making things this is a great introduction just to get into uh, building something that can be used for years to come after that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, start building guitars, man.